We really wanted to go for really natural hair, like as though it hadn't been done, as though we didn't do anything. So we really wanted it to look like they woke up the next day. It just had some very subtle wave to it where it wasn't overdone and overproducted. So we took some pure abundance style prep and then we put in some Aveda Control Force just to spray into the hair. And then we wrapped the hair around our fingers and then pinched it together and then we flat ironed it so it had a little bit of wave and a little bit of bend. And then we let the hair fall out and it was just very simple and very natural, not overly done. And the take of nail polish on my legs. The makeup's a bit more deconstructed. Charlotte was inspired by the natural beauty of the ocean. So a lot of the girls that she cast have these piercing blue eyes. So the palette that we use are these earthy, caramelly shadows with a touch of orange. So it's a good contrast with the blue eye. It's sort of a wash across the lid, so it's really refreshing. There's full black pencil along the root of the lash and just kind of smudged. There's a bit of a uh, Brooke Shield sort of brow moment going on. And that always lends itself to the girls looking a bit more youthful, lots of lash. There's an absence of color on the lip. We're using Rouge Natural Number 4, which is like a subtle pink, just to kind of give a natural hint of color. So it's like the girls went out, went home, slept, woke up and looked even more gorgeous. That's kind of the energy and the vibe that we wanted to capture with makeup. The collection this season was inspired by water's elements. I found this great print is an ocean print, so water was the inspiration. It's just, you know, the strength and tranquility of the waves, and a lot of the bodies are more modern, clean, but still the fluid lines and curves, which go back to the waves. The silhouettes are also sophisticated but have that subtle sexy feel with lots of the fabrics a little bit more sexy, a little bit more sheer, but even worn in a way that even the mesh with the more lady fitted dress. The color palette has a lot of ocean blues and greens and sunny yellows, which make up the perfect seascape. Accessories, I designed bags, so these are my bags which will be in it, and then I worked with Just Fab for the shoes, so they were nice enough to let me go through every single pair of their shoes and, and work and see and pick them all for the collection. I love Charlotte. She's a dear friend of mine and her whole family and I feel like we've come up together. I made all the shoes for her today and I thought it was great. Her collection has come a long way. It's grown up. She's grown up. I love her so much. It's very sophisticated yet light and feminine for spring. I love it. It was all about neutrals, pops of colors, lots of natural fabrics and materials and wedges for spring, cork. We mixed it all up. It looks great. Lots of ankle straps, tall wedgies, but a thin wedgie, not a thick, wide wedgie. So I think the girls look great. The clothes look great. I love Charlotte.
I've been friends with Charlotte since I was 15 when I moved to New York. I've always looked up to her and her style, and I love her line. I think she has a really beautiful collection. has a very chic, cool look, and I just love the way she dresses, and you can really see that in her collection. Designing takes six months prep and even to get to this place, then another six months till you're actually even getting to wear the piece. So I think it's really important to make sure that the pieces are special and strong and something that you'll be able to love and want.